So it's important to understand that uh, because the main reason that immigrants use more welfare than natives is they have less education and they have more children, it's important to understand that if you then control for education, control for the number of children, then of course the difference is going to go away. And you might say, well, okay, now after we control for those things, immigrants and natives have the same welfare use. And oftentimes people who are on more of the uh, pro-immigration side of the debate will make that exact point. But what I would say is it's really not very relevant. It's sort of like thinking about hypothetical skills. If immigrants had this set of skills, if we sort of made them look like natives in terms of their skills, how much welfare would they use? Well, it's not a very interesting hypothetical. After all, the whole point of a report like the one I've done is to say immigrants use more welfare because of the skills they bring to the table. And if you just assume away the skill differences, then you sort of lost all policy relevance.